So this is a quick demonstration of how the Wunderkind program works. So say you are applying for AI grant and you're filling out the form and you come to the question of what is your email? So now I have two options. Do I enter my personal email, uh, which is a Gmail account, or do I enter my ProtonMail account? Um, these two will come across differently and I don't necessarily which, know which one is going to come across better. So Wunderkind does a very wide spectrum sentiment analysis. So if I am looking for uh, a question of whether Gmail or ProtonMail is going to come across better, uh, the way that I can try and solve that problem is I run two instances of Wunderkind and I'm going to do one that's going to crawl the web for ProtonMail and then I open another instance enter Gmail, and I run that instance as well. And now the program is going to start working. It's uh, going to take a while because it's crawling a lot of uh, data, but once it's finished doing its thing, I'm going to have a very well averaged approximation of how the general public sees both ProtonMail and Gmail uh, as of this time. And once I have that, I can go back to my AI grant page and enter the best email to uh, be selected. So uh, because this is going to take a while, I'm going to stop the video now and we shall uh, reconvene after the results are in. And we are back. Sorry for the long wait and the slightly jumbled changes. Uh, I actually had to do some debugging there. Cloudflare was making my scraping more difficult than it had been the last time I ran this program. So I've already copied most of the data for analysis. This is forget a lot of replacement characters culminating in a in a result and a context for the uh, sentiment analysis. So I'm just going to analyze, uh, compare those two to each other in an Excel file. And like I said, I've already copied most of the data in here because I don't need to see that. And then the delta between the uh, result and context. Let's make things symmetrical is simply the result minus the sentiment for the context. And we can see that according to this, so uh, both came fairly negatively, and I think that's just uh, a result of how the Transformers library I'm using does its analysis. But uh, Gmail had an overall lower score than ProtonMail. But uh, that was at a time when the overall um, snapshot was even more uh, pessimistic. So according to these results, uh, if I put my Gmail address rather than my ProtonMail address, uh, that will probably cause a slight uptick in my odds of being accepted. So I'm going to put my chrisjhenningson at gmail.com introduction in there and uh, finish editing this video, which uh, you get to enjoy. Thanks very much.